Hello everyone, welcome back with another video from Money Pro. I hope all of you having an amazing and wonderful day. Happy Friday, and this is your fourth stimulus check update. In this video, I will cover everything going in Congress. So, 11 Republican senators now support a bipartisan infrastructure framework, which would give a bill enough votes to pass the Senate if all Democrats get on board. President Joe Biden signed a bill establishing June 10, the date marking the end of slavery in the United States, as a federal holiday. Eight states Alabama, Idaho, Indiana, Nebraska, New Hampshire, North Dakota, West Virginia, and Wyoming are going to end federal unemployment benefit programs on Saturday. Before I dive further, I invite you to subscribe our channel Money Pro as we post daily stimulus and news updates here. Also, do not forget to like and share the video. It really helps our content to reach wider audience on YouTube. All right, let's start with infrastructure plan. I told you in previous videos as well the fourth stimulus check does have a direct link to infrastructure package. Lawmakers are pushing Biden to include four stimulus check in American Families Plan, and that plan is the second part of Infrastructure Plan. The first part is American Jobs Plan, and for Jobs Plan, currently Democrats and Republicans are negotiating. If Americans' Jobs Plan is going to pass through bipartisan process which requires 60 votes to pass a bill, chances are we are going to see a fourth stimulus check to be included in American Families Plan, because American Families Plan Democrats can pass on their own, without the support of Republicans, through budget reconciliation which requires all Democrat senators to vote in favor of bill. Democrats have only one chance left to pass any bill through budget reconciliation till midterm 2022, and they want to use it with American Families Plan. So, they have to pass American Jobs Plan, anyhow, with the help of Republicans, now we are getting news that 11 Republican senators support a bipartisan infrastructure framework, enough for a potential bill to get through the chamber of all skeptical Democrats back it. In a statement Wednesday, 21 Democratic and GOP senators endorsed a roughly $1 trillion proposal, which would not raise taxes on corporations or wealthy individuals. The plan would revamp transportation, broadband and water but would not meet many Democrats' goals for investments in clean energy and social programs. The proposal serves as the last sustained effort to strike a bipartisan infrastructure deal before Democrats move to pass legislation on their own. A smaller bipartisan group of 10 senators who drafted the plan has tried to win support on Capitol Hill but has not yet earned the blessing of congressional leaders or the White House. A handful of liberals in the Senate have threatened to vote against the bipartisan deal, which they say does not do enough to fight climate change or income inequality. If any Democrats oppose the plan, more than 10 Republicans would need to back it for it to hit the 60-vote threshold to pass legislation in the Senate. Some Democrats have suggested their party could approve a physical infrastructure plan with Republican support if skeptics get assurances their priorities will be addressed later. Democrats could then move to pass broader investments in child and elder care, green energy, education, health care, and maybe fourth stimulus check on their own through budget reconciliation. Paying for the infrastructure plan could be an issue. Republicans have insisted they will not touch their 2017 tax law, which cut the corporate rate to 21%. Biden wants to hike the corporate tax to at least 25%. The president has also promised not to increase taxes on anyone making less than $400,000 per year. A possible revenue raiser in the bipartisan plan, tying the gas tax to inflation could effectively break his pledge. What do you think about this? Let me know your thoughts in comment section. Moving forward, more than 400,000 people are poised to lose unemployment benefits this weekend as eight states withdraw early from pandemic-era programs. Alabama, Idaho, Indiana, Nebraska, and Hampshire, North Dakota, West Virginia, and Wyoming are opting out of federal unemployment programs this week on Saturday. They're among 25 states 
turning down federal funds ahead of their official expiration on September 6, which will affect about 4 million total recipients. The state governors, all Republican, claim enhanced benefits are paying people to stay home, thereby creating labor shortages and making it difficult for businesses to hire. President Joe Biden signed a bill establishing Junatine, the date marking the end of slavery in the United States, as a federal holiday. June 10 National Independence Day is the first new federal holiday since Martin Luther King Jr. Day in 1983. That's all. Please subscribe our channel for more updates. Goodbye.